Let's go kill the day! It's starting already. We might be one minute late. Mountains Melancholy. Is this grass full speed? It's by Vecusus. I was in um, Vecusus' chat the other day. He's super nice. The mapper of this uh, this map. Very, very nice guy. So I'm happy for him that he got a cup of the day. This is grass full speed. It is not the map that I thought he would get track of the day with. I've not seen this one. But he had another one that was really nice. I mean, this looks cool though. It's already a bunch of speed slides. Holy, you can get 900 at the start of the map or like 850. And it's so wide too that like crashing here is not gonna happen that often. Oh, okay, that corner you can crash. Uh, yeah, trust the mapper. Oh, wait, this is a hard one. So up, down here. This is a harder map than I thought. It started very beginner friendly, but now I'm not sure if people see that. I love the aesthetic though. Wow. Kind of insane finish. Okay. Okay, so this... 54 seconds to beat. With grass speed slides, you want to be very gentle. Just make sure that the car is in a sliding state, and then you don't really need uh, to force it anywhere. Now, I should actually have speed splits, but I have no plugins on today, because I'm doing a thing later on. I could turn it on, because it is very instructive to see on full speed where you're gaining and losing time. Should I turn on speed split shot? Yes. Fifty-four. Okay, I can do it. This and speedometer. Ah. Those are the two I think I'll need. Skid marks. I can maybe do it after quality, but I honestly don't mind the regular track me skid marks. Okay, so it doesn't have the split save for my previous run, but it will for the next. Yeah, this, you have to be so done with the steering everywhere here. Ooh. Here, let's grab that. To inside. I lost speed there. Ugh. Game lagged. Fifty four four. Yeah, now I have speed splits, nice. Okay. Can def definitely get like oh <laughs> already ton speed here. I think an approach like this is gonna give you so much speed through here. Question is if you can keep it on Whoa. this uh, sharp thing. way too much for 800. Over sliding. Down. Oh, so here, right? On the reactor wall. I think you actually go pretty high to get pushed far down so that you don't have to steer as much up into that next thing. You lose so much speed if you're sharp there. 
should all be smooth. I think I want to try that. Okay, air time. Okay, so here, early up and quite far up, and then hit that angle. Minus eight, where? Oh, the magnet lost grip. <laughs> the magnet somehow didn't catch me there. Still nice though. Oh, that could be so much speed. Why well, is the mapper playing? Usually mappers play, qualify for Division 1 to spectate in-game, and then don't play the knockout. It's usually how it goes. There's no way to spectate our Division without actually participating. So that's just how it goes. Okay, so how much do I lose by going late here? Oh, actually, oh, I'm six speed up. No, like, that's fake. Or is it? I don't know anymore. I have a better approach here now. Maybe a better approach here? Wow. And then a little bit more on the magnet so that it, I can get- yeah, this fast. Oh wow, only 100th, really? Hmm. I thought it was faster. Oh. Maybe staying on the grass there? like do this in multiple parts because I didn't have that line so now I'm just slow Woo! Ah, too high here gonna lose out yeah close go for man or go far man thank you Sta Steven thank you as well six minutes guys we should be able to get the one with this but I can improve a lot I'm, I'm noticing it's just carrying the speed it's very hard through some of these loops and wall rides. Need such precise uh, approaches to do that. Oh no. Yeah, like it does the reset. But I feel good about this map. I don't know. I feel like it suits me. I'm a big fan of full speed in general, but this is like a really nice type as well. Is that not more speed? For going early. No? Too sharp, too sharp, too sharp, okay. <laughs> it has to be so smooth on that. Interesting. Very good. Oh, 
Ah, that was almost really perfect. No, I don't have the approach here. I lose. Four? Oh, that was a big improvement. Somehow just squeezed a little bit more speed out of the ending. From being behind, by the way, so that shows there's a lot to gain. That ghost had a really good start, though. I won't beat the start here. I just don't see how this is slower. My brain tells me it should be faster to go up there early. And it probably is, it's just so hard to do it right. Ah, uh, I mean... Okay. I'm pretty sure I can get a 53. If I get the same start my ghost had and then just clean up the middle a bit. The end was good. Too much overlap. What about this? It's too low. <laughs> I'm also noticing my eyes are like drying out because I'm staring so much at the skid marks. If you don't know, I'm trying to speed slide at, like a very specific angle at 800 speed to get fast on this map. Here? Now, the, if the early is bad, let's just not do the early. If the early is bad, we don't do the early. Then I'm gonna go for like a, like a late. Ooh. That looks very good. No, speed slide there, Ah, oh, Missed potential. <laughs> I need to see what Josh does. I really gotta see how he approaches that. I think you can exit it with like 810 and I exit with 800. But how he does it, I don't know. That was a slow, should reset. I clipped. I clipped. Ah, uh. oh, damn. Barely clipped the tire there. Okay, last one. Ah, oh, bad start. Okay, sure. We will get division one, but gonna have to see what I do in knockouts with that loop thing. Because, like, you see I hit the speed limit on, on grass here, so there's no point going too wide. But then, in this, you should be able to carry more exit speed than I'm doing. <laughs> but if you didn't know, you can't actually go faster on grass than 800, unless you have a reactor. Did the bird move in? The bird messed up our shit. It messed us up. Yeah, yeah, like top 33 quality. Not the best, gotta say, but um, 
I think I can definitely go faster if I learn the loop plan. But the skid marks? Yeah, but now I'm used to these, you know? Oh, 5365 by Shadow Prancer. Okay. Yeah, that is, I mean. I mean. Okay, he's already like 10 speed up at the checkpoint. He goes into this with 900? Okay, well, how, how? Oh, still 800. So that's like a reset almost. Okay, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, bro. So early there. Wow. Yeah, and now he gets a smooth line through here. Up, right, down, left. Yeah. 820 magnet. Okay. Okay. Let's play. I'll turn on the skid mark so you can see it better. So I can also see it better, to be honest. <laughs> you gave up on the map? Did you try it? It's very hard. Yeah, it's a very hard map, guys. If you've never played Couple of the Day and you're hopping into this, it's so intense. And there are certain, like, loop plans and stuff that you just... If you play enough full speed, you know how they work, but if it's your first time seeing them, then, yeah. It's hard to drive on the spot. Alright, let's see how the skid marks look now. Okay. That's probably better. On grass, it's as long as they are apart, you gain speed. On road, you need this type of overlap for 800. That's too much air time. It's gonna be a bit getting used to it. He went like this, and then here. And then the long turn. I mean, you can set this up wide. As long as you can do it in one continuous slide, it's honestly good. And then super early into this. Did not want the magnet at all. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Yo, Turbo! I can get a 53 in rounds here, without taking too many risks. Just doing do those two things different. But it is scary. So I might just settle for like 50, 54-2 or so. Good luck, you two, if you're playing. Got your highest div, div 18, you? Congrats, good luck. We got the usual full speed players, the AR players, the EVO players. And this is the style I have won the most couple of days on, actually. Full speed maps. Ooh. I think I have three or four wins on full speed. Three. So it's a good style for me, but... Always, always dependent on so many factors. Whether or not I succeed. Don't feel like the fastest player on this, so we're gonna need some of the fast boys to make mistakes. <laughs> okay. That is a scary corner. And then right, left, right, left, he did. Oh, also there, really? Okay. And there's a pillar here, right? Like, yeah, you can crash that. You can crash that pillar. That's something to watch out for. I'll play it safe in the early rounds, right? I know that every time I try to do fancy things in knockouts, I just go out. Under Yojo. Yeah, Jojo. It's a mix. It's a really good song though. I think I had a no slide there for a little bit. Sh 
tarp. Secure it. Way better than missing it. Low, get the smooth line. No danger. Nice. Happy with that. I had one- the turnover was actually really bad. And it seems to me... Like, if you don't go on the exact corner... Of that block... I don't know where it's at, but if you don't go at the corner, if you go earlier... You get a slowdown. So that is what I'm a bit scared about. You have to kind of approach the corner. And with, with Magnet and with Reactor, it's kind of hard to predict where that corner is. Oh, airtime, okay. People are gonna crash though. Even if I'm slow. Yeah, like, minus 14 speed there. For going early. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to transfer across the map, like... Oh god, there's a corner there. Okay, early here. Get through. Left, right, left, and yeah, let's just get up. Nice. Uh, okay. I thought I had the lag thing again. Plus 29 and 47. It's more like it's kind of hard to lose time in that sector. The only way you do it is by getting airtime. It's a straight line with speed slides. So in Div 1, everyone knows how to do that. Gradient pause thing for the one year! Okay, I'll read it. Okay, this is low speed, but it's fine. Go low here, make sure I don't hit that. Oh, yeah, let's just save that. Okay, good. Okay, good.
What's the point of having Trackmania on your account name? We all know what you're playing. It's more that our usernames, like if I wanted virtual, it's taken on Ubisoft. So how do I get virtual? Okay, virtual TM. Why am I minus six speed? Is that fake? Or is there some type of gear trick on the booster? But now I'm first. See, that makes no sense to me. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Actually bad start. Better corner though, I felt like. Yeah, way better. Low. Point twenty five. Good. Oppa. Scrappy also with the crash. That's how quickly it can happen. I've had Virch was my main gamer name for like 10 years now. 2013. Or 2014-ish. Ooh. Uh, that's a very bad start to the speed slide. <laughs> Under the wall ride. Point two. Solid. Ooh, Elcon. Oh, I thought it was in. I'm barely out. I'll kind of yawn out. Some of the faster players are... are getting KO? Oh, he went too early. Is that why? Maybe. Got Div 15 or 7? Dude, that's super good. As a beginner, what division should I be aiming to be in a couple of the day? It depends, right? Because like... Let's say you're good at full speed. This is a map that will throw a lot of people off if they haven't played a lot of full speed. Or let's say you're really good on ice, you'll probably do really well on ice, but not so much on other styles, right? I think the division you should aim for is... Um, first look at where you place and then think, can I do better? Or can I equal that? Focus on your own results. There's no like, this is where you should be after this amount of time. But if you see yourself improving, that's the best thing. Point 27. Alex, think of the five months. Div 1 right now? Yeah. Kyril out as well. Or Kyril. How long have you been playing? 10 plus years. And probably 13,000 hours. So, it's a lot. It is a lot. But uh, I'm not the only one in this field. Uh, most of the <laughs> Division 1 players here have been playing for... Between 5 and 10 years as well. We're all the boomers. But soon you uh, you new players will catch up to us. So we have like our our last glory days in uh, in Div 1. Before the zoomers catch up. Like Josh is 16 I think. And he is currently crushing us in Div 1 right now. 
and he won the quality, so. And only been playing for a year. Or uh, two years. But only full speed. <laughs> And now he's one of the best Fulfi players. Twenty-five? Thirty-two. Hmm, I haven't gotten that fifty-four zero pace I thought I could do. You know I'm a zoomer? I am absolutely not a zoomer. My definition of zoomer is could you have friends without playing Fortnite? If you could, then you're not a zoomer. <laughs> like, I think if you if you grew up and you went to school now, or a few years ago when Fortnite was, was hot and you didn't play it, you're just making no friends. You had to play it to fit in, even if you didn't like it. <laughs> oh god, that's so wide. Okay, I'll just overslide. That's a little bit bad start. Wow. Uh oh. No, I keep missing. I missed all the approaches, chat. I think I'm out. Ooh, never mind. I missed so many approaches there. It's just L after L after L, but good save. Jesus. Is your speed drift a magnet? You can, but often you need a um, reactor. I couldn't stop that. The car has no grip in the uphill. I could not, even if I steered away from it, but the car just it doesn't like get rid of the hitbox, basically. I was too far on the side. That's me out. I had to prevent it before the uphill, but by the time I saw it, like, it was too late. Ah, oh, and that was a good run too. That was a good run too. Unlucky. Like reactor uphill, the car just slides so much. <sighs> it's doing good. It's doing really good. I was doing so good. Like that round, I finally had pace, and the reason why <laughs> is I realized. I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll show you what I realized. Um. The um. After the wall right here, you're capped at 800 speed. Like you see, okay, this guy had a bad start. But the others, the top players, they get 800 early and you can't exceed it until you get the reactor. So I was like, okay, well if I can't exceed the speed limit, why don't I just take a tight line? And then I did, and that was fast. Rizzo, thank you so much for the raid. I need to coach you. You need to let me coach you again, because you've learned so many things that I think now, when I start talking about speed slides and shit, it'll make sense. And it won't be too dank. Please let me, let me teach you some cool things, because you can do a lot now. With how much you've been playing. He destroyed Div 40? Wait, you won? 
Did you win? No? Okay. H has he- Wait, have you won a couple of the day yet? Like, your division? Dim40 didn't know what hit him. Oh, someone made a mistake in start. Yeah, I don't like this line. Let's see what Josh does. I think he has the same idea, like, you can go- Oh my god, the overlap is crazy though. But yeah, he hits 800 so early. Jesus! Oh, okay, he's, he's in time, he's in time, he's in time. I mean, that is insane. What is this, like a 53-8? Oh. Jesus. He's a uh, playing controller. But he's very good at speed slides. Too smooth, how's he doing that? He's smooth steering on controller. To get the overlap he wants, and he's just really good at it. Like, I think Josh probably has like... 2,000 hours in Trackmania by now, and they're all in full speed. Basically. So he's really, really clean with it. <laughs> he's gonna blast ahead here, I think. Uh, Yami has a better start, I think. Yeah. Ooh. We see with the early turnover, losing speed. Let's see the battle for survival. Ooh, that is very tough for Vixa. He needs point one only, but on this map with less speed, you're just not gonna find it. Maybe Marius too sharp here. Marius has low speed. He's gonna be the target. Is it enough though? Is it? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, Marius is all safe. Josh crashed? Ay, 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 No. This one was his to win. That was his couple of days to win. Unlucky. Tux point two behind start. Okay. Zaymar, thank you for gifting ten subs. Holy, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Appreciate. We root for Tux. Yeah, Tux is also a new player. Came from CS:GO Surf. He has way more speed than Vecchi, who he is gonna catch up to. But then he needs one more. And Marius, is he going too sharp again? I think Marius lost speed here. He did, he did, he absolutely did. Is it enough though? Oh, I respect the attempt. But it's gonna be Marius saving himself for top eight. Skid Mark Manager not bugged for you? Mine's bugged for like two weeks. Huh. Did you, uh, update it by chance, Schroger, to the latest patch? Thinking you were getting an improvement when in fact the update just ruined your enjoyment of Skidmark's manager. What if? Because I never update and my plugins actually work. Crazy. Okay, we have True Noob, who I don't think has won before. But I'm rooting for him! I am rooting for him! Poor Texas!
<laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Okay. I think he's the underdog here, but he's driving pretty fast. Nitrosa as well, I don't believe has won. We only have like 200 unique couple of day winners. Across three years, basically. So two potential candidates, Yami as well, never won before. And Yami has like five second places. Ooh, I think Nitro Vixa and Nitrosa, yeah. By far the worst starts. Oh, Nitrosa going early? That did not give me a lot of speed, but gave him a lot of speed. He's kind of safe now. Marius in danger. Oh, Marius got a very good speed slide, though. And it's Vixa in last once again. But the problem Marius has had is that he goes too sharp into this, and he's gonna lose speed for that. So I think Marius is at risk of going out here. Still. And... He will be the one by one hundredth. By one hundredth he's out. <sighs> but that is the type of line that like... You, w you wouldn't think it loses speed until you see what others do. It is so marginal. And you only see it across like... Ten blocks that it actually is slower. Top six. Oh, Nitrosa lost a bit in the start. Okay, I like the idea, but he's speed sliding so much in the uphill. Like, he's speed sliding upwards rather than in flat. So he does lose a tenth. Two tenths. Gains a little bit back. I'm gonna be honest, this does look like Yami's Cup to win. Right now, no one is close to the pace. Oh, Kanjika with the triple slide. Able to get up still, though, the wall. He's not that fat, uh, slow. It's Nitros, I think. It's up next for Elim. Oh, a lot of speed, though. <gasps> By 2000s, oh my god. What a clutch. What a clutch. Barely enough. So now we have three players who haven't won before in the top five. Kanjika and Vixa have both won before. But they are off to the worst start. Ooh, okay. Thought I saw a mistake, but it was just name tag. Long speed slide. I think Kanjika too sharp has to back out of it. Nitrosa also has to back out of it. Vixa is gonna catch up a bit. Nitrosa too sharp into this water. He's gonna lose a lot. He's gonna lose a lot with that. And he does clip on the exit too. So that's gonna be GG. What is going on in chat? I don't actually know how old Buckley is. Do you guys want to? Do you guys want to guess how old Buckley is? Because it surprised me too. He looks like he's seventeen. I think he is twenty-eight. 27 or 28? <laughs> he could be lying when he told me that, but that's that's the number he told me. And if that is true, Buckley, then you should go to Hollywood, because they constantly need actors that uh, are like 30 but look like they're 18. 
You have the fountain of youth within you. 25. Okay, 25. Still older than me, though. Vixa? Likely out here. They all got the loop line right. Yeah, Vixa is out. Boss forgot my age? Do you think it has anything to do with the fact that you gaslight people about your birthday? Could it have anything to do with, with you gaslighting everyone about your birthday, Buckley? You went around for an entire year saying every day, today is my birthday, Chad. Happy birthday to me. And then you made them all spam Fields birthday, man, even though it wasn't your birthday. <laughs> Just like now. Top three, Kanjika in the red. But Trunub with a worse wall right exit. Kanjika with a better approach here, gonna get closer. This corner though, so important. Ooh, I'd say Kanjika got it better, but he goes too sharp here most of the time and has to back out of it for a double slide. Trunub with more speed. Late here is gonna be very sharp. I don't think he's gonna care. Kanjika made a mistake. Trunub would not carry the speed at all from that, but it's fine. It's gonna be him versus Yami in the finals. And we will have a new winner. Now, I said this. Yami has been in five couple of day finals and gotten second place in all of them. I am rooting for Yami Chan. Trunu has never won before. I don't think he's been in a final before. Either. Oh my god, Trunub's best is 5th. Okay, this is exciting. Who is it going to be? The first grass speed slides. Yami goes lower. Gets a very clean overlap. Trunub as well. Better setup for Yami, I'd say. Towards the wall right. That's gonna exit perfectly for him. Low line. Great start for Yami. Ooh, Yami also hitting that approach now the corner. Trunub hit it about perfect, I would say. Also has a wide angle here, so I think he's gonna get around the turn all right. Does Yami? Yami's losing time here. Trunub has so much speed. It's point 0.14, but it's gonna be 07, and he's faster into the loop as well, the wall ride. The last line here, 400s now. Trunub is still faster. Onto the platform, the slides. He hits them right. Trunub on the last straight. Yami, though, with the inside line, it's not enough. 100th. Holy shit! GG! What a way to win your first couple of day. Like that long speed slide to get 950 there, that was perfect. American winner! I th I, this, ne this almost never happens. The Americans are catching up. This is an EU game, we like to say, but look at this. NA with the W. North America with the W. Clean. Do we have a reaction? GGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGG